Good morning friends, uh, my name is Varinder and uh, welcome you to my YouTube channel Cloud Ninja. So in this video we will study about S3 and IAM. So basically this video is a combination that how we can maintain the security of S3 buckets or the data which we will be uploading into S3 and how we can control the data with the help of IAM or the users which we have created in the identity and access management service of AWS. So basically in this video first part we will see that okay what is the setup of our lab or or what type of setup I'll be using in the lab to show you guys that how you can create the inline policy to have more granular control over the data which will be uploaded into the S3 bucket. So without wasting much time, so let's see that what uh, the setup will be of our lab. So I have created three IAM users. Number one, Bilku is from the admin and Manish is from the finance and Jackpal is from the uh, information technology. So similarly, I have created two buckets one is for the Manish and one is for the Jackpal. So we'll try and see by playing, uh, you know, with the user Jackpal that how Jackpal will not be able to access the other buckets which we have created in the uh, IAM console. So this would be our setup and uh, let me, you know, show you that what type of policies we have created in the AWS uh, console or how we can create it. So this is the AWS console. This is the main console. You can say the root user account and let me go over here so i'll be using two browser one is safari another is the mozilla so basically for the individual user jackpal i'll be using mozilla and for the root account i am using the i this uh, safari so let's click on to the im just to show you guys the setup so like uh, said the three users i have created one is bilku jackpal and manish so let me show you for what i have for the uh, what I have done in the S3. So similarly, in S3, I have created, uh, you know, three buckets. So, you know, Bilku from the admin, Jakpal from ID and Manish from the finance, like we discussed in our uh, presentation, right? So I'll be clicking again. So now we'll be doing how we can control the data which will be uploading onto this, uh, these three buckets. So you can see as of now, all these, uh, you know, buckets are empty. There is no data into this. Okay, this data is there. Let me delete this. Okay. So delete. Okay, so th there is nothing into it. So let me check. Okay, nothing is, all three buckets are empty. So let's go into this IAM console and see that how we can create the inline policy. So I'll be using Jackpal, the user which is there in the information technology uh, unit. So let's create an inline policy for that. So this is basically the policy will be selecting the services which we want to provide access to and give the resource name. Automatically Amazon helps us in creating the JSON scripts at the backward, you know, which will run while, uh, you know, when we accessing the uh, you know data into the s3 buckets with the help of different users so let me go over here and click on aws s3 so this is aws s3 let's say all actions for whom so for a particular resource name for for which bucket for jikpal uh, Okay, so if you are not aware about, I have created and uh, you know favorites which I'll be putting in the video as well and uh, basically the format for putting the resource name. So this is it. So you know characters which are further this are basically the uh, are are the are the bucket name. So we'll be using our bucket name. So let's see how to use that. So just copy this particular format over here and the bucket is jackpal hyphen it right so i'll be adding the statement over here and let's click on next step and attach the policy so one policy is allow allow bucket access right so let's see if this policy is valid or not yuppie this policy is valid okay so let me attach this Okay, so we have created one inline policy wherein we are allowing access to the this particular bucket uh, for uh, for Jackpal, right? So 
as I previously said that for the user Jigpal, I'll be using an uh, Mozilla Firefox. So let me go over here and show you. Okay, so that okay, what is there? Okay, so let me open up the X3 and let's see what kind of access we are having right now. So it is saying that access denied. So you must be wondering that we have, you know, allowed and uh, created a policy and mentioned the resource name. But even then it is showing access denied to the Chikpal. So basically, if we open up the policy, So what we have created is for the, you know, action is that, um, you know, this uh, star for the, and what is the resource? Basically the, uh, basically the bucket name. But here the problem is that which all buckets are there are not available for the user. So in that case, it is, uh, you know, difficult for the user to check for the bucket. So we'll be creating an another inline policy over here okay so let me click over here and create an another inline policy for the aws s3 so these are the this is basically the service which we need to select for which we want to create an inline policy and let's say what i want to do basically i want to uh, list all the buckets within the particular resource so i'll click on list all my buckets and let's mention this star for all the resources okay so this is the another policy let's see if the policy is valid or not so again this policy is valid so now we have attached the two inline policies for that so let's see if we are able to see it in aws uh, for the jigpal if there is any kind of change or not so here we go and let's see if our buckets say here you go now you can see that all the buckets are available for the user Jigpal. Okay, so you can see that, uh, you know, user is not able to open up the bucket for the admin. Let's see if user is able to open up the bucket for the finance or not. Here we go. It is again giving access denied error. So let's see if we are able to open up the bucket for, so here you go. So let's see if we are able to upload something into the bucket or not. So let's click on add let's try uploading this particular bucket over here and if i'll click on next 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 so nothing has been uploaded so you can see that it is okay so here i can see that see that user is not allowed to upload anything into the bucket so basically the thing is the policies which we have created, let me go to the IAM console. We have created, you know, allowed particular inline policy for listing the access, which are there into the, uh, you know, or the listing the S3 buckets and, uh, you know, for a particular resource. So in that case, we have nothing allowed that, you know, user should be able to upload something into the S3 bucket. So in that case, we need to modify the uh, policy which we have created. So let's see what was our policy if I'll go over here okay so in this particular bucket we have allowed the access right so let's see if I am able to edit it or not so just copy this and okay and here you can mention basically we are allowing the access into the bucket so that it can upload objects within that okay so just click on save Here, this is giving us an JSON error. Let me see. Okay. Policy. Okay. 
Okay. Let me create an another bucket for that. So I'll mention star Let's see what is the error it is throwing over here. Okay. Let me save it. So it is saving the, it was giving me the syntax error. So let's see if I am able to upload. If, let's see if Jigpal is now able to upload anything or not into that. So let's go over here. Again into this, add file. Let's try uploading the same bucket JPG into this. And let's see if we are able to upload it or not. Here you go. So you can see that here we need to change our IAM policy where we have allowed access within the within that particular bucket to to upload the objects, right? So action is that you know we like we have allowed uh, you know access onto the S3. All actions are allowed basically means full access is given onto the S3 bucket. For which bucket, which is the resource, this is Jagpal IT. So in this way, we can have more granular control over the uh, over the S3 buckets with the help of inline policies. So let me go back to the you know our presentation. So this was the setup which we actually uh, you know used for uh, you know creating into the S3 buckets and then applying the inline policies with the help of IAM. So in the next video, we'll see that, okay, what are the bucket policies and basically the IAM policies has certain limits and they are limited to certain users, groups and roles only. And uh, directly IAM policies cannot be applied to a bucket. And uh, let's, for example, we'll be using this particular case scenario that how you can provide anonymous access, read only access to a bucket to any user in the world whether he'll be having a AWS account or not a simple user uh, simple URL will be giving and user will be having a read only access to that particular bucket in the similar way let's say if we want uh, to users to have s3 bucket access the s3 bucket from a particular IP address only so in that case we'll be using the bucket policy so in the subsequent videos we'll be using that how we can apply these uh, you know bucket policies so I would say thank you friends uh, thank you for watching this video in the next video we'll see that uh, how we can apply the uh, bucket policies and uh, to have more granular control so thank you friends thank you for watching if you really like this video please hit the like button do share it with your friends and uh, so that more and people more and more people should be having idea that how we can maintain the security within the AWS account so thank you friends, thank you for watching. So this is, uh, I'm not putting this or changing this slide so that you can use this setup for your lab and uh, so that you can gain confidence that how you can apply the um, IAM policy. So thank you friends, thank you for watching this video.